Good morning, everyone. Today is September 28th, and it is our 43rd week of our keto journey. You may notice I'm here alone. Uh, Stacy had a really strange schedule the last, I don't know, two years. But uh, uh, she had to leave out at about 3 o'clock in the morning. She won't get home till noon. She goes right to another job right after that. So we won't even see Stace till Sunday morning or late, late Saturday night. So uh, what I did was I had her weigh in before she left for work this morning at about 3 o'clock. Um, and so let's see. So Stacy last week was 132.8. And this morning she was 132.2. So she's down 0.6. Uh, she started out at 180 last year, uh, 180.2, December 1st of 2018. And for me, um, drum roll please, uh, December 1st, 2018, I started at 382.6. And last week, I weighed in at 330.4. Now, a lot of you guys know uh, I've been kind of stuck in the 330s. I mean, up to down one up four, down five, you know, 330s has been a sticking point for me. Well, today I'm very happy to say that I weighed in at 329.6. So I'm down 0.8 pounds. Um, so, so far since last year when we started in December, I'm down a total of 53 pounds and Stacy is down a total of 48 pounds. Um, together we've lost 101. So we're on track and we're doing well. Uh, another thing I was going to mention today was one of my new shirts because uh, almost all my shirts just, you know, five, six X's. Uh, they look like tents on me now. This is a three X and this is one of my favorites, Johnny Cash. My grandma turned me on to Johnny Cash when I was little. Uh, remember 45's and the little inserts on the 45's? They used to whip them around like little ninja stars. Well, anyway, uh, Ring of Fire was one of the first ones. And then uh, there's another one called Rock Island. Uh, it has to do with a train, you know, and it kind of has this pace to it that gets a little faster. My grandpa loved trains and they liked that song. And then uh, Ring of Fire. We didn't have a lot of 45s, but the ones we did have, we wore the heck out of. And uh, Johnny Cash was one of the uh, more fun memories for me from being a little kid. Uh, yeah, and Elvis. My grandma loved Elvis too, oh my gosh. Always a lot of Elvis. Love me tender, you know. Anyway, so that's what this shirt is representing. And it's, you know, a 3X and fits me great. And I'm very happy to say that I'm able to start swapping out some of those clothes. That's one of the things on keto they don't tell you is that you're going to have to buy a whole new wardrobe, including underwear and shorts and shirts and T-shirts. And, you know, when, when a special occasion comes up, like a wedding or a funeral or something like that, where you want to get dressed up, you're going to need to go shopping because nothing's going to fit. I can guarantee you from experience for Stacy and for me. <laughs> but anyway, um, hey, just wanted to throw that update out there today. Um, we're hoping for Stacy's schedule to get a little less crazy. She is doing two jobs and one of them, the contract ends in the end of October, she said. So uh, we're hoping to get more time together and to do things. Uh, we've gone for a ride on the e-bikes, loved it. I uh, want to do more of that before the fall, uh, before the snow comes here in Michigan. And uh, we'll definitely be featuring some of that in our videos. A uh, little bit of footage from that, riding the bikes around. They're so much fun. Oh my gosh, they are so much fun. So uh, look for that. And uh, we've got a couple ideas on some recipes. Uh, I've been printing out some stuff and I got a couple things from Amazon for her because you all know I'm addicted to Amazon. And uh, we'll be putting that stuff out soon too. It's just a question of getting her home long enough to do something besides trying to play catch up on laundry, cleaning, the house stuff, the kids. Life's been crazy. But we've stayed keto. We've stuck to the keto. We're continuing to stick to the keto. It's actually more of a lifestyle than a diet to me. Um, the things it's done for me has been have been incredible. Um, dropping my medicines, dropping weight, of course. Everything from blood pressures to cholesterols, to A1Cs, to reducing and getting off of the medicines and the insulins uh, have all been fantastic. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't quite understand the whole fasting aspect. Um, a lot of the keto people do the intermittent fasting of 16-8, and that's what I do, uh, as well as I try and get in at least a 24 to a 48-hour fast each week. 
Um, some weeks I don't make it and some weeks I do. Uh, so, you know, I know that there's family and friends that are concerned about that and, uh, you know, just do a little reading, you know, go get a book or two, uh, complete fasting guide, Jason Fung, uh, watch a couple videos. Um, I figured I had nothing to lose by trying it. And, uh, when I tried it, ama amazing results, immediate results within weeks, I was seeing reductions and getting off medicines. So it was a huge inspiration for me and I continue to read his books and watch videos on intermittent fasting and um, yeah, Dr. Fung's a man, man. So uh, if I'm doing it wrong, then I'm doing it wrong. But you know what, 10 years before that, I was doing it wrong for sure because my sugars were going crazy, my weight was going crazy. I was, walk I was listening to all the experts and nutritionists and endocrinologists who kept just upping my carbs and upping my meals and upping my snacks to six to eight, you know, feedings per day and uh, 70 carbs per meal kind of crap. And this is from nutritionists that knew I'm diabetic and trying to help me, supposedly help me, um, you know, and those who just continually added on medicines. When I started this, he was skeptical. And uh, within a few weeks of back and forth talking, he was just like, hey, you know what? More power to you. What's the name of that guy again, Dr. Fung? I think I'm gonna check into that book and I hope he did and I hope he does. I don't even see him anymore. I don't need to see him anymore. My primary doctor even said, guess what? We can manage this. Now I'm down to 500 milligram of um, metformin and that used to be 2000 and no more insulin, no more Genuvia, no more Glimpyride. You know, all those medicines are gone except for the 500 milligram of metformin. I see the doctor again on October 1st, I believe it is. Um, I'm not sure if we're doing full cholesterol workup, but I know we're gonna check A1C and stuff. So I'm hoping for a great result from that. And uh, he's just been supportive too. Uh, just, you know, tell me, keep going with what you're doing and, and uh, your numbers are looking great. So I'm very hopeful and thankful of that. And I will share the results when that comes in. Um, beyond that, I hope everybody has a great weekend and a great uh, Saturday here. Um, I've got a lot of plans with Julia and tomorrow we're going to be busy all day too. So um, we'll catch y'all later and hopefully you'll see more from us here on YouTube uh, besides just the weekly update. Um, it's just been kind of life has been nuts, but we're sticking to the keto and we're staying keto. Hope you do too. Thanks.